Have you ever wondered why humans make the decisions they do? Why we sometimes leap before we look or ponder endlessly over simple choices? Today, we're going to explore the intricate workings of the human mind and its decision-making processes. There exist two systems that guide our thoughts. System 1, immediate and emotional, and System 2, slower, more calculated and logical. Intrigued by this duality of the mind, Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating concept. To understand this better, we turn to Nobel laureate Daniel Kahneman's masterpiece, Thinking Fast and Slow. This influential work delves deep into the recesses of the human mind, dissecting the two systems that steer our thinking and decision-making. On one side, we have System 1, the fast, intuitive and emotional part of our brain. It's the snap judgments and gut feelings we often rely on without even realizing it. On the other side, there's system two, the slow, deliberative and logical part of our mind. This is the conscious, effortful thinking we use when solving complex problems or making important decisions. Kahneman's book doesn't just map these systems, it reveals how they interact, compete and even sabotage each other in our daily lives, providing profound insights into behavioral economics. But what exactly are these two systems and how do they influence our daily lives? First off, we have system one. This is our fast, intuitive and emotional way of thinking. It's like an automatic pilot guiding us through the day to day. It's the voice in our head that responds before we've even fully processed a question. It's our instinct, our gut feeling, and it's often right. System one is incredibly efficient helping us make split-second decisions that can often save us time or even our lives. When you swerve to avoid a pothole without consciously deciding to do so, that's system one at work. It's our survival instinct, honed over millennia of evolution. But it's not always perfect. System one can lead us to make snap judgments based on incomplete information. It can be overly influenced by our emotions, leading us to make decisions that feel right in the moment but may not be in our best interest in the long run. It can even lead us to see patterns where there are none, a phenomenon psychologists call apophenia. And it's not just about making mistakes. Sometimes our quick thinking system one can lead us to brilliant insights, to eureka moments that can change our lives or even the world. So that's system one, our quick thinking gut reaction side. But what about when we need to slow things down? Enter system two our slower, more deliberative and more logical thought process. Unlike its swift and instinctive counterpart, System 1, System 2 is the contemplative philosopher of the mind. It's the system we engage when we're solving a complex math problem, deciding on a career path or evaluating the pros and cons of a difficult decision. System 2 takes its time, meticulously analyzing every detail before reaching a conclusion. It's the part of our brain that strives for accuracy over speed, precision over impulsivity. It's the chess player, carefully considering each move and its potential consequences. However, System 2 isn't without its challenges. Its deliberative nature can sometimes lead to overthinking, turning simple decisions into complex conundrums. It's the voice in your head that keeps you awake at night, questioning your choices and creating a whirlwind of what-ifs. This is often referred to as analysis paralysis, where the fear of making a wrong decision prevents us from making any decision at all. So, as you can see, our minds are a complex interplay of these two systems. But how can we use this knowledge to our advantage? Understanding these systems and how they operate can fundamentally change how we view our own decision making. By recognizing the dual nature of our thought processes, we can better understand our own biases and reactions. We can work towards mitigating the pitfalls of our fast, intuitive System 1, while consciously engaging our slow, deliberative System 2. Imagine being aware of when our instinctual responses are taking the lead and knowing when to slow down, to consider, to deliberate. The ability to distinguish between the two can lead to more informed, rational decisions, be it in our personal lives, professional pursuits, or even social interactions. This understanding can also help us better comprehend others, fostering empathy and enhancing our interpersonal relationships. It's about being mindful of the psychological processes at play, both within ourselves and others. For a deeper understanding, we highly recommend reading Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow. 
It's a game changer and it might just change the way you think about thinking.